Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. One of the common problems with trombone slides is that they can get bent. When I say that a trombone slide is bent, I do not mean that it is bent like this one. You can see the bend in this. There's a dent and then the slide is bent considerably. And on this trombone slide, you cannot see from the video that it's bent. And I cannot even see that it's bent from right here. A very small bend in the slide will cause it not to work well. The trombone hand slide is made out of a set of four slide tubes. There's the upper inner slide tube, and that's the one that the mouthpiece goes into. There's the lower inner slide tube, and there is the upper outer slide tube, and then there's the lower outer slide tube. Any one of the slide tubes or any combination of the slide tubes can be bent to cause the slide not to work well. Out of all the things that can go wrong with trombone hand slides, Bent slides are probably the hardest to repair. Slide tubes are more flexible than you'd think. If I put this here and then pull it down, you can see how flexible it is. And it bends very easily. What I just did to the slide tube did not bend it at all. When you pull it down and it bends, then you let go, it springs right back. So what you need to do is figure out which direction it is bent, and then bend it in the other direction farther than it needs to go, so that when it springs back, it springs back into the correct position. That is not very easy to do, and it takes a lot of practice to get a feel for trombone slides and to know how much you need to bend it in the opposite direction to straighten it out. Another thing that makes it difficult is every trombone slide is different. Some trombone slides bend very easily, and others you need to push down pretty hard to get it to bend in the direction you want it to bend. So if you are going to attempt to straighten a trombone slide, get some practice on some old junk instruments first, and see if you can repair those. And if you can do that, then try to repair your instrument. If you're watching this video and decide that you do not want to risk straightening the trombone slides on your trombone, that is fine. Just take it to somebody who can do it. You can just enjoy the video and see how it is done. Trombone slides can be bent in different ways. There can be a gradual bend that goes over the whole trombone slide like that. And this is greatly exaggerated. It will not be that big in real life. But in order to show you what it looks like, I had to exaggerate it. Or a bend can be over a smaller area, kind of like that. Other times you can have a compound bend like that. Or you can have a more gradual bend and then another bend in the middle and the gradual bend continues. The first thing you do before you do any straightening is to figure out where the bends are and which direction they're headed. Also, if it's a gradual bend or a sudden bend. To get some idea of which slide tube is bent, you can put the slides together individually and see how they work. And this one is a little stiff. And let's try this one. The lower slide tubes seem to work very well. However, it is possible that just the weight of the outer slide tubes can be pushing down on the lower slide tube. And it's possible that it could be bent, but the weight of the slide is straightening it out so that it works well. Another thing you can do to help you figure out where you should look for bends is take one of the upper tubes and the lower tubes and try it that way. And then also try it the other direction. This way only works if the upper and lower slides are the same diameter. If you have a dual bore instrument, you cannot do this. After doing the quick diagnosis, I'm going to guess that the biggest problem is probably with the upper outer slide tube. However, there could be problems elsewhere. I will look for bent slide tubes on all four of the slide tubes, but my guess is the biggest problem is with the upper outer slide tube. To do this job, you need a fluorescent light tube, like the one that I have over my bench. I'm standing about 12 feet, or about 4 meters from the light. I hold the trombone slide up to the light, and I close one eye, and I look down the top of the trombone slide. I do not look into the slide, but right on the top, and I look for the fluorescent light uh, shining off of the trombone slide. And what it should look like is two parallel lines of light next to each other, right on the side. What you're looking for are for those parallel lines of light to be bent in one direction or the other. You hold the slide very still, and if the lines are parallel and straight, then the slide is straight, and then you turn it the other direction. And when I do that, I can see that the slide is bent off to the left. I will show you what that looks like. Here's the slide. Hold it up to one eye, and aim it toward the center of the light. And you can, this is probably going to be a little bit out of focus, but you can still get an idea of what it should look like. And there should be two parallel lines of light, and there are. 
And now I'm going to turn it and again hold it up to your eye into the center of the light. And let me get that straight. There we go. And you can see that this is bent off a little bit to the left. If you did not see much of a bend on the slide tube, that's because it is not bent very much, but it is bent enough to cause problems when you slide it. And actually that is a fairly large bend by trombone slide standards. A bend on a slide tube is a little bit hard to detect, but after you've done it for a while and get some practice, it does get easier. After you've done one slide tube, you can turn it around and do the other slide tube also. And also you do the inner slide tube, and that's done pretty much the same way. And now to straighten out the slide tubes, you need to remember which direction it was bent. This slide was bent in and then it went back out, so I'm going to bend it the other direction. Also you need to know if the bend is over the whole slide or just over part of the slide. And in this case, the bend is pretty much a smooth bend over the whole slide. So what I'm going to do is take the cloth, and that helps your hand to slide over the slide better. And you take it with one hand, hold it like that. With the other hand, you slide it like that, pushing down on it. It takes a little bit of practice to know how hard to push down on the slide. And it should bend a little bit. Then you go back and sight the slide again and see if it is straight or if it is still bent and you have done nothing to it or if you've done too much and it's bent the other direction. If you bent it too much, you're putting too much pressure on and then you need to bend it back in the other direction and also next time don't put quite as much pressure on the side and if it did not move at all, then you need to put more pressure on and if you successfully straighten the slide out, then you obviously do not need to do anything to it. The inner tubes are done the same way, but they are a lot more flexible. So you will have a lot more bend on the inner slide tubes before it straightens them out. After working on the slide for a few minutes, it is a lot better than it was, but still not good. A slide should slide out at probably about a 15 or 20 degree angle. And this one, of course, does not do that. If the bend is a sharper bend over a smaller area, let's say from about here to here, you would not straighten out the entire side tube, you would just straighten out the place where it is. You would pull down on it, or you may take this and go back and forth like that, over the one small area where the bend is. Of all the work that I do on brass and woodwind instruments, I would say that straightening trombone slides is one of the hardest and trickiest things that I do. A lot of times it seems there is no explanation to why they work and why they do not work. One time I had a trombone slide that would not work. I put probably several hours into the trombone slide and then finally I got frustrated and I set the trombone slide on my bench. I went, went home and then the next day I came back to work and the slide worked fine. It was perfect and I just put it in the case and gave it back to the customer. I do not know why that happened or how that happened, but it happened. Sometimes you can have a slide that looks like there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. You sight the slides and they look like they're straight and it looks perfect and it still does not work. Other times you can have a slide that looks very bad, but yet it works just fine. What I showed you today is just a basic guideline of how to straighten trombone slides. But keep in mind that trombone slides act very unusual and sometimes they will work well and sometimes they will not. Do the best you can and do whatever you need to do to make the slide work well. I hope this video has been helpful and not too confusing. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.